Tommy Bob will, almost always, lock slash soft lock with the hip fire crosshair before aim down sight. This is important because it makes the aim assist difficult to detect. Here are some examples. Trying to put your hip fire crosshair as close to the target as possible before ADS is a good thing. Everyone should do this. Although these locks are suspicious in their own right, doing this is not the true problem. This is what happens when the user is unable, for any reason, to get the hip fire crosshair as close to the target as possible before ADS. As you can clearly see, when the hip fire crosshair is not close to the target at the start of the ADS animation, you get inhumanly fast and accurate flicks to targets. Now let's look at some other examples where aim lock attaches to the wrong target. This clip clearly shows the user moving his scope to shoot at the player to the left. Unexpectedly, mid scope animation a player appears from behind the plane on the right and messes up the aim assist. It is lightly fast and hard to catch unless you slow it down. Let's look at another example where aim assist travels to a target the player has never seen so fast, even the user is unable to cancel it in time.
In the next clip, aim assist seems confused as to what target to select. Observe that hip fire lock is not achieved, and the very obvious aim assist movement can be seen. Next, let's just look at some impressive plays.